Jewish and Arabian law often say there exists seven heavens, seven divisions and levels of heaven, heavily guarded by angels of different ranks, with the lowest layer being the farthest away from God, and the highest layer, the closest to God. From the lowest to the highest, they are as follows. Shemayim, Rakia, Shia Kim, Makonon, Marthe, Zebel, and Arabot. In the Book of Enoch, however, there are ten heavens, with the last three known as Musaloth, Kukavim, and Aravoth. The first of the heavens is called Shemayim, and it is the abode of the stars. The chief ruler of Shemayim is Gabriel, and the angels of light who reside here include Sabrael, Sidriel, and Asrulu. The first heaven is not only a place for the angels of light, it is also the abode of many fallen angels, who, although rejected, still dwell among the stars. The second heaven is called Rakia, and is said to be composed of water. This is where Moses encountered Angel Nuriel, and where Muhammad of Islam encountered Angel Habib. The Muslims say the second heaven is where the Garden of Eden is located, the first home of Adam and Eve. But the Book of Enoch disagrees, saying that the Tree of Life and the Garden of Eden are located in the third heaven. The second heaven is governed by Raphael, Zachariel, and Muriel. The third heaven is called Shia Kim, and it was in the third heaven that Moses encountered an angel so tall it would take a human 500 years to climb to his height. An angel who had 70,000 heads, each head with as many mouths, and each mouth with as many tongues. Likewise, Muhammad of Islam was said to have seen such an angel. The third heaven is where the Tree of Life and Garden of Eden are found, according to the Book of Enoch. And the chief governor of this heaven is Anahel, alongside subordinate princes, Jabaniel, Rabachil, and Dalkiel. The fourth heaven is called Mukhonan, and is said to contain the heavenly Jerusalem, the temple, and the altar. It was in the fourth heaven that Muhammad of Islam encountered Enoch of the Hebrews. This heaven is governed by Michael, and the angels who dwell here include Shamshiel and Sapiel. This is also the dwelling place of Sandalphone, the angel of tears. The fifth heaven is called Marthe, and it was in the fifth heaven that the prophet Zephaniah beheld angels that are called lords. Each of the angels had a crown upon his head, as well as a throne, shining seven times brighter than the light of the sun. The governor of this heaven is the dark lord Samael, some say Shatgil, and a few say Sandalfon. In Islamic law, the fifth heaven is the seat of Aaron, the avenging angel. The sixth heaven is called Zebel, and here dwells the guardian angel of heaven and earth, who is half snow and half fire, according to the Muslims. It is governed by Zekiel, assisted by subordinate princes, Zebel, during the day, and Sabbath, during the night. The seventh heaven is called Arabot, and this is where the major experiences of Enoch are said to have occurred. The seventh heaven is the abode of human souls, waiting to be born. It is also the seat of the Most High God, and the abode of the Prince of the Torah, known as Zagzagel, as well as the dwelling place of the Seraphim, the Ophanim, and the angels of love, of fear, of grace, and dread. It is in the seventh heaven that Isaiah had a glimpse of the Most High and his Son Jesus Christ, where he hears the Most High dictating the program of the earthly manifestation and return of Jesus Christ. The seventh heaven is governed by the angel, Cassiel. Going back to the Book of Enoch, which mentions ten heavens, the eighth heaven is called Musaloth, 
and is the same and part of the seventh heaven, Arabot. The ninth heaven is called Kukavim, and is the home of the twelve signs of the zodiac, while the tenth heaven is called Aravoth, and is where Enoch saw the vision of the face of the Lord.